it's tea time with pop and green on the go full of polyphenols and catechins and that delicious fragrant toasted brown rice it'll just wake you right on up and make you feel good hey pippas okay anyway i'm eating my peach i'm almost actually done that's my fruit and i'm also finishing up my cantaloupe and I thought for the end of the week before I introduce my other tea I would read you something from Dr. Michael Greger's How Not to Diet about anti-inflammatory foods foods that nourish you and what we mean by anti-inflammatory is that these are the type of foods the herbs the teas spices that protect your cells from mutating and if they do mutate, because cells mutate all the time, that they don't reproduce and to turn into something else that we don't want to grow. You know what I mean. It's really important. And waking up in the morning is so critical because we've been sleeping all night. Our cells are hungry. Our organs are hungry. We want the vitamin C, the vitamins, the antioxidants. Very important, the fiber. I can't, I can't emphasize fiber enough. So I just want to read what he writes. Food for thought. In the Dietary Inflammatory Index, the single most anti-inflammatory food is, I'm not going to tell you that because that's next week, followed by, not going to tell you that because that's next week, and the most anti-inflammatory beverage is green or black tea. Yep, green tea. And it's, it's why I start my morning off, but it's that nutty flavor that just keeps coming, me coming back for more. Uh. <laughs> tea time with Gwendolyn. Anyway, have a great weekend. And remember, GwennyOnTheGo.com, two for one. That's a big deal, two for one. This is not gonna last. Don't forget your fruit. Have a great day. Oh yeah, peace. I mean, really, peace. <laughs>